what does it take to become an astronaut in India? Well, the answer is not just study science or join the Indian Air Force. The answer is this story. The story of a boy from Lucknow who flew fighter jets for the Indian Air Force, who was trained in Russia, who in eight time gravities and who survived isolation for days. That man is group captain Subhanchu Shukla, who is now the second Indian in the history to reach space and the first one in this new era. But this is not just his story. It's your complete roadmap to become an astronaut from India from nerdy physicist to fighter pilot to engineering students to biotech researchers. So stay tuned. Subhanshu was born in 1985 in Lucknow in a humble family. His father worked in Indian Railways. His mother was a government school teacher. Subhanshu was always a quiet boy, studious and very curious. In 1999, the Kargil war changed him. At the age of just 16, Subhanshu secretly appeared for the ND entrance examination. During his sister's wedding, he got selected. He got in the NDA. In 2006, he became a fighter pilot and over the next 17 years, he flew Jaguars, MiG-29s and Su-30 MKIs, becoming a decorated fighter pilot with 2,000 plus flight hours. But then came a national dream, Gaganyaan, India's first human space flight program. ISRO needed astronauts. The Indian Air Force offered its best. Subhanshu was selected. In 2020, he was sent to Russia's Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Center. What followed was no less than science fiction. The training included 8G centrifuge training, meaning 8 times Earth's gravity slamming your chest, neutral buoyancy lab with simulated pace walks underwater, isolation chamber where there was no air, no windows or no real contact for weeks. There was emergency drill in case of fire, depressurization or solo rescue. But Subhanshu did not just survive all this, he thrived. In 2024, Subhanshu was sent to the International Space Station on the AX-4 mission. India was back in space, not as a guest, but as a rising power. Subhanshu is not just a fighter pilot, he also holds an MPEG degree from ISC Bangalore. Because being an astronaut means mastering both the cockpit and the science behind it. In fact, every Gaganyaan pilot, including Subhanshu, holds a Master of Engineering degree either from ISC Bangalore or DIAT. Because space does not just need courage, it also requires deep mastery of all the technical details of the machine that you're flying. Well, not all astronauts are same. Every space mission needs different types of astronauts. Number one, test pilot astronauts. They are trained to fly the spacecraft, uh, manually dock with station and take control during system failures. Well, they are almost always usually from military background or a test fighter pilot background. They are trained in aerodynamics, avionics, and system failures. They are physically and mentally elite. And the second category is mission specialist or scientific astronauts. So they are responsible for managing payloads, conducting experiments, and maximizing the science returns of the space mission. They are usually from STEM backgrounds like physics, biology, or space medicine, and they usually need a master's or a PhD degrees. And they are the ones who are responsible for conducting spacewalks. So now the question is, are there two trades for the space mission? Well, every space mission needs multidisciplinary scientists or astronauts. The first one who is responsible for piloting the spacecraft, they are the commander of the spacecraft. The other one is responsible for conducting experiments and fulfilling the science purpose of that mission. So now the question is, how do you become one? So there are proven routes and a possible two in the future. The first one is Indian Air Force route, which is for pilot astronauts. So the first step is you need to join the Indian Air Force. After that, you become a fighter pilot over there. And after that, you need to join or get selected for the test fighter pilot school, such as ASTE. After that, you need 1,000 to 2,000 hours of flight experience, and then eventually get selected for ISRO's astronaut mission or spacecraft mission like Gaganyaan. And this, which is the IAF fighter pilot route, is the only route used by ISRO to choose astronauts for their programs. For instance, Rakesh Sharma who was the first Indian to reach the space and Subhanshu Shukla, they were both IAF fighter pilots. So eventually, this is the route if you want to get selected for ISRO spacecraft mission. And the path two is the scientist or engineer's path, which is for mission specialists. And this path typically requires a bachelor's or a master's or even a doctorate degree to pursue. So the first step is you need to pursue 
a master's or a bachelor's degree in any of the STEM related fields such as physics, biology, robotics or uh, space medicine or anything similar. The second step is you need to qualify the entrance examination or recruitment examination by ISRO Centralized Recruitment Board which is the ICRB and you need to work in the R&D department of ISRO and of course you need to maintain elite level physical and mental health. So that is the second route for engineers or mission specialists and the path three is the private or commercial astronauts and this path will likely open up in the future for example uh, you need to have sponsors for your programs and you need to be participating in private space missions such as the AX4 which Subhanshu did and this path is typically ideal if you're an engineer or you're a sponsored researcher or a scientist and this can also include spaced tourists for the purpose of tourism and other explorations in the future. So what is the future of space in India? Well, India is not just sending astronauts, it's building an ecosystem. For instance, India's Gaganyaan mission will continue to send three Indians via Indian space rocket for a one week orbital mission. By 2035, we aim to launch our own space station. By 2040, India aims to return samples from the moon or even asteroids for mining, tech or planetary science. We are not just launching rockets, we are launching an entire generation of space science explorers. Subhanshu Shukla looked up at the stars from his rooftop in Lucknow. 20 years later, he became one. Well, he didn't have the privilege, he had purpose. And that's all you need to start. So whether you're a student in a small city or a research fellow working in a lab or a fighter pilot doing sorties. If you have ever looked up in the sky and said, one day I want to be there, then this video is for you. Don't wait, just start. Follow your passion, follow your dream and make India proud. Don't forget that your journey to space begins on the earth. So start today. If you like this video, put a like and comment down your astronaut dream. And if you want more such info regarding space missions such as Gaganyaan, Chandrayaan or anything else. And if you're serious about space, then follow for more such breakdowns. Mm -hmm.